All right, this is a demonstration of full vital signs, uh, which you're going to take on every single patient you have. Uh, your full vital signs are going to include blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, lung sounds, skin signs, SAT, blood gl glucose level, pupils, and that's your full set of vitals. All right, this is a demonstration on what to do when taking skin signs on a patient. Uh, the main things you're going to be looking for are the color of the skin, the temperature of the skin, uh, whether or not the skin is dry or moist, and additionally cap refill. Uh, the best place to take uh, skin signs is going to be on your patient's chest. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull down on their shirt, uh, assess the skin uh, if, it's, if it's warm, pink, and dry. So it is pink, temperature is warm, and he is dry. Additionally, uh, cap refill. Uh, you usually want to go to the thumb, take the thumb, press down and release, press down and release. Cap refill should be less than two seconds. If it is not, be sure to record your findings. Okay, this is a demonstration of taking a uh, SAT using an O2 SAT monitor for a patient. Uh, so what you're going to do is first make sure your patient hands are dry and clean. If your patient does have nail polish on, this will not work and you'll have to use alternative methods. However, uh, on this patient, it will be fine. What you can do is you can take your SAT monitor. First, you're going to make sure that it works. All right, your SAT monitor works. You're then going to place on the index finger and allow it to read. It's going to take a few seconds. Once you uh, obtain your SAT, you want to record that. So in this case, he has a SAT of 96 to 97, which is pretty good for a patient. Uh, anything lower than that, you want to start considering use of O2 via nasal cannula, non-rebreather, or even uh, possibly a BVM. All right, this is a demonstration of blood glucose testing using a manual glucometer. I'm first going to start by using scene safety VSI and have my gloves on. I'm then going to verbalize the need to obtain a blood glucose for this patient. Once I obtain the, uh, verbalize the need, I will then ask the patient permission, is it okay if we take a little bit of blood from you today, sir, yep. to get blood sugar? After I've gotten uh, permission from the patient, I'm then going to prep all my equipment. I need my lancet, bandage, uh, prep swab, testing strips, and my glucometer. I'm going to first start by inserting my test strip into my glucometer to make sure it is functioning properly. Test strip is functioning properly. I'll then set that to the side. I'll then prep my bandage. I am then going to take my prep swab, clean the finger in a bullseye pattern from inside to out. I'm then going to let that dry. Once that is dried, I'm going to take my lancet, sharps out. I'm going to verbalize to the patient that I'm going to stick him on three. One, two, three. Sharps disposed of. Squeeze a little bit to get some blood. Once enough blood has come out, obtain it with the strip, set that to the side, and immediately apply a bandage. Once I apply the bandage, I am then going to verbalize my blood glucose level, 97, and I'm going to record that. All right, uh, this is a demonstration of taking pupils on a patient, which is another vital sign. What you're going to do is you're going to first assess how the patient's pupils look without light, and then you're going to take your pen light, shine, have the patient focus on a stationary object, either your forehead or the wall, Shine to the side, shine into the pupil. These pupil should constrict. Shine away, shine in, shine away. Here again, you're going to check on the other side too, checking for equal and reactive pupils. And they are both equal and reactive. Uh, make sure you record that and make sure you record any abnormalities that may occur when taking uh, pupils.